All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 21, and this is just continuing a series of, of videos where the students are going to continue using their math drawings to really develop that deep understanding of the written standard algorithm. So uh, students at this point are going to begin making that transition where they're going to prefer using the standard algorithm and they're going to start complaining <laughs> pretty soon about, oh, do we have to draw the dots? Well, as a teacher and as a parent, this is where you start using that art of teaching to understand when you're able to wean the students away from the drawings and towards the standard algorithm. And you may have some students going straight to the written algorithm, while other students are still going to be asked to draw. Uh, that's where the art of teaching comes in. So we're going to solve this using the standard algorithm and then we're going to verify it on our place value chart. Uh, so let's get going with this and we're going to start by writing 45 <clears throat> and then we're going to put 76 right underneath making sure that our ones columns and our tens columns are lined up. Now that we're going to add our ones columns together so 5 and 6 is 11. So 11 is more than 10 so we're going to think of 11 as a 10 plus 1 left over. And now we can add our tens column. So we have 4 tens plus 7 tens. So that's 11 tens plus 1 is 12 tens. So 12 tens is equal to 100 plus 2 tens left over. And then our hundreds column we have just this guy right here, so our answer is 121. Now modeling this with our place value chart. So first we're going to model the 45, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so there's 45. Now we're going to model 76, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now we're ready to start bundling. And we can see in our ones column that we have five plus five is 10 plus one extra. So that's 11. So we know that these 10 can be bundled together, plus we have this guy left over. So now we can add our tens. So we've got 4 plus 7 plus 1. So that's 12 tens. So we know that we can bundle 10 of those. And we will have these two left over. So these 10 up here can be bundled together to equal 100. And then we have these two left over, and then the answer is 121. All right, so uh, we're just practicing some more. Uh, this time, we're going to have a three-digit number in there. Now, remember um, that this is the ones place. This is the tens place. So when I write down 78, I need to make sure I put this, I line up so that the tens columns are next to each other and the ones columns are, uh, I said next, I meant on top of each other, and the ones columns are on top of each other. And let's use that standard algorithm. So let's see, 7 plus 8 is 15. So that is a 10 plus 5 left over. And now when we're counting up our tens, we have two tens plus seven tens plus one ten. So that's 10 tens. So when we have 10 tens, that's enough to bundle. So that's going to give us one in the hundreds column and nothing left over in the tens column. And now in our hundreds columns, we have 100 up here, 100 down here. So we end up with two in the hundreds column. So our answer is 205. Well, let's verify that with the place value chart. All right, so first I'm going to I'm going to draw 127. So that's 1 in the hundreds column, 2 in the tens column, 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the ones column. So there's 127. Now we're going to draw 78. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now we can start bundling and putting things together. So we know that we have 7 up here, 8 down here, so that's 15 all together. So that means we can bundle 10 of them together. And here's our 10, plus we have 5 left over. So there's our 5 left over, and our 10 can be bundled together to be right there. And then our 10s, we have 2 up here, we have 7 down here, and 1 down here. So all together, this is 10. So we can bundle all of these together. That equals 10. So all of those bundles together equaling 100. And we have nothing left over in this column. And then our 100 and 100 equals 200. And there's our answer, 205. So teachers and parents, the idea would be as you're connecting this algorithm over here, for example, carrying, when you add and you carry, or when you add and you carry, the idea is to relate that to this bundling and bringing over a dot, or bundling and bringing over a dot. The idea is to connect the standard algorithm with this manipulative, so that the idea is that the standard algorithm makes sense. And the last problem for this video is the blue team scored 37 fewer points than the white team, and the blue team scored 69 points. So I chose this problem, first because it's a word problem, but secondly because it's a great opportunity to give a sneak preview of the tape diagrams that our students are going to be expected to draw in third, fourth, and fifth grade. So the first thing I notice is I have two, two subjects, blue and white. So I'm going to label blue and white. And, uh, and I'm going to draw both of their tape diagrams to be identical as best as I can. All right, there. So I have two identical bars. We always begin with, when you have two subjects like this, you always begin with drawing their two bars identical. And then you go back and you read the question and edit accordingly. So it says the blue team scored... 37 fewer points than the white team. So that means this blue team, the bar needs to be shorter. All right, so I'm going to shorten it. And it says it's supposed to be shorter by 37. So all this is supposed to be gone by 37 points, right? And then it says the blue team scored 69 points. So that means this piece right here is 69. So the question is, how many points did the white team score? So the white team is right here, which means we need to add, because this length here is the same as this combined length here. So the white, this combined, this uh, big huge tape diagram is going to be the result of 69 plus 37. So 69 plus 37. Let's add them. So we're going to add our ones column. So 9 plus 7 is 16 ones. So that is 16 is a 10 plus 6 ones left over. And then we have 6 tens plus 3 tens plus 1 ten. So that's 10 tens. So 10 tens can bundle together to equal 100 with no tens left over. And now when we add our hundreds column, we get just one. So the answer is there's 106 points for the white team. Is that what it is? Yeah, the blue team scored 106. Uh, the white team scored 106 points 
and the blue team scored 39 points. So now the question is, how many points did the blue and white team score all together? So that means we're going to add, and I'm going to kind of not draw the, the tape diagram, 106 plus 69. Tricky here is making sure the ones and the tens columns are lined up. So when we add them, uh, six ones plus nine ones, that's 15 ones. So 15 ones is a 10 plus five ones left over. And then zero tens plus six tens plus one ten, that's seven tens. No bundling necessary. So that's seven tens. And then we have a hundred and nothing down here, no hundreds. So that's 100 total. So the answer is 175 total points. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 21, where we are continuing to connect the place value chart to that standard algorithm for addition.